What is up you guys, Matt McKeever here and today we crewed up and so you won't believe the vehicle we rented. I'm really excited to show you guys, I think it's going to blow your mind. What is up you guys, Matt McKeever here and today we crewed up and so you won't believe the vehicle we rented. I'm really excited to show you guys, I think it's going to blow your mind. So let's, let's just jump into it. <laughs> the beautiful seven seater. Eight seater. Eight seater. Seats, six, eight, look at that. Would you just look at it. What is up you guys, Matt McKeever. What's up guys, Jeff Weibo. And we're coming to you live from the back of a minivan because we're doing a road trip. So we're just on our way right now to see Matt Pichet, the fruitful investor. A few moments later. What's up? What's what up? is up you guys? We crewed up, we're headed to uh, one of Matt's projects right now. Where are we going to check out Matt? Uh, duplex conversion we finished right downtown Kitchener, close to the LRT, sweet spot for investing. Damn, we buy houses. What is up you guys? We're going to talk about something that's really grinding our gears these days. Contracts. And so like we come across this all the time, whether you're a realtor, whether you're finding private deals, but people get into these crazy contracts on their properties and they don't read anything about them. And so Adam literally got a phone call today from a private seller and I'm just going to let you go into it because it's almost too ridiculous for me to even yeah, try. Yeah, so this is crazy. The uh, So we're trying to buy this condo in Kitchener and um, <laughs> the seller was talking to us and they said they had called because they have this rental um, water softener and so they called the company to see what the buyout would be because obviously we don't just want to stick them with that um, charge on closing or at least if they're going to pay for it they need to know what it's going to be worth and cost them so when they called the company the company said like oh like hold on th those numbers don't add up so basically the homeowner is paying too little that the company is saying like it's impossible that we would have ever given you that at that price but it's what they've been paying every month so when they dug into it a little bit more the vendor actually never signed the contract and so the company was like okay well that's actually a fraudulent contract take us to small claims if you want to be able to buy it out or or transfer it at that price so that's insane like that does, that's no let's let's really break that down for you guys so essentially what he's saying here is the person that sold that product to them that sold them that item never signed the contract themselves and yet they've been getting paid the entire time and paid a certain amount and now all of a sudden that they've dug into their paperwork they're now saying that like they're, they're throwing around a lot of big words first of all to try and scare this homeowner to try and make them think that they can't that their backs against the wall and that they have no options and the the amount of predatory practices we've came across from these different companies that are like doing door-to-door -door sales and really pressuring these homeowners into these contracts for items or things they don't even need and talking about items they don't even need we literally came across a property that they had eight yeah so another property in London that we were looking at um, this lady's a little bit older so I I can tell right away like she was probably just vulnerable to whatever sales approach they were using and she had eight rental contracts in the property, one of which was a Nest, like a home Nest thermostat thing. And when I called the company and asked them how much the bio would be, they said it was $2,500. Stop watching this video right now, press pause, and go and Google a Nest thermostat. You're going to be shocked, I guarantee it. There was literally a program recently, it just expired, but you could get one for free in Canada. <laughs> All you had to do was fill out some like fucking paperwork and you could get that item for free. And they're trying to force this lady to pay $2,500 for an item that she could literally got free through a rebate program. And there was also doubles of equipment. So she's got like double water filtration or something, and then an air filter, and then rented furnace, rented AC, um, 
not a HEPA filter, so that's there, but like, there, she literally has so much rental equipment in there that the rental payments per month were literally more than what my mortgage payment would be if I bought that property right now. Well, like, think about the ridiculousness of that, because like, this equipment she has isn't worth that, right? It's not worth more than what her house is worth, and yet, because she's been essentially taken advantage of, she's being forced to pay out these crazy amounts, and the big problem is, she actually reached out to a realtor and tried to sell her property, and the realtor just was like, ah, oh, that's too much work, you're gonna have to clean up all the contracts first. Yeah. And that's the classic example of what we find with some of these creative deals we stumble into, is that people just don't have they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the experience to know that there's other options, that there's other opportunities. Yeah, and so what we've actually done for her is we're going the mile. Uh, so we, we actually reached out to our lawyer and got a referral for her to use. Um, and so I actually just gave that to her last week and I think that that lawyer is gonna try and potentially breach some of these contracts for her uh, because obviously this is just predatory selling. Like this is insane. Um, yeah, I think her payments are like $600 a month. That, that, that is extreme when we're talking about a house that she's willing to sell to us for $120,000. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's yeah. like really soak that in. That is insane. Yeah, it's just so frustrating and we come across this way too often. And uh, at the end of the day, we're just helping these people solve their problems and that's creating an opportunity for us. Problems are profit, guys. That's always the key. Man, this is really bad. This, so, this, we so, just lost our deal. <laughs> yeah, that is unfortunate, but we might as well make content from it. Um, so, we were just talking about the frustrations with these contracts and predatory practices from these door-to-door -door salespeople. I'm just going to literally uh, read to you right now. So, a sales lady arrived at their door, sold them a furnace and AC, saying that they will get an $1,800 rebate, which never showed up, so they stopped making the payments, which is bad, don't stop making payments. Uh, then a couple of weeks later, a salesman showed up and they thought he was from the same company. He said that if they extended the contract to include water filtration and a water softener, he, he could offer them a package price which will actually be less money, $94 a month instead of $300 a month, but they will have to add that extra equipment too. So they took it. Now they don't know who to pay nor how much because there's two companies. Read the, uh, yeah, so we, I've and got- And then we got I've, copies of the contracts. I got legal paperwork here. I'm about to sift through and we'll see what's actually happening here. It's just, oh. This, this grinds company, my gears. This company shows yeah. up. This is the same company every single time that is out here and doing crazy shit like this. Like it's literally, there's three companies, they're all terrible. Yeah, if, if they arrive at your door, I tell them to pound salt. Turn away and leave. Where are we headed, Adam? We are on our way to Sino City. We're gonna pick up some bandit signs. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey Adam, I've always wondered, what do you do? Well, I actually buy houses. Wait, yeah. what? You know, I buy houses. Oh. oh. We're gonna go to an Aston Martin dealership and see what kind of cars they have there. Hopefully they got an Aston for me. Oh, that's what an Aston Martin is, a car. Right. <laughs> the greatest investment of your life. <laughs> I don't think there was anything there. I was just there yesterday, but I didn't notice anything. Yeah, check out my new car, Fruitful Investor, I told you. <laughs> Real estate, Lambo. Happy she is making that YouTube money. Yeah. We just got out of Aston Martin. Not everybody was allowed in because of our cameras and all that. They kind of went in, they, they left, but Adam and I got a quite the uh, little experience and tour in there. We were talking to Alex. He's the brand specialist with Aston Martin up here. Yeah, this guy's a proper brand ambassador. I mean, he was naming off specs and features and historical value of the brand that like, Really only an expert can know. Yeah, he said like when he was very young, like 11 years old, he went to a car show, somebody let him sit in an Aston Martin, and he was hooked. Yeah. So he, he just kept talking to us, and then like, we were just, like anything, even if it was real estate, we were just like, you know, building that connection, and all of a sudden he's like, let me take you guys down to the, the vault, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. And we got to see like the whole garage of Aston Martins on, under, yeah. under the floor uh, of the shop. Uh, 
So he was saying they typically store in there in winter months. Like right now they're kind of low inventory because he's been doing such a great job. Um, but they usually store like 250 cars down there and that's like Lamborghinis, Porsches, uh, and a ton of Aston Martins. But there was just a lineup of some of the most exotic Aston Martins available. Um, and each one was like hand ordered and ordered to spec by Alex. Uh, and I think he did a great job. Like there was colors there that you just don't see. Yeah, and for like the real estate side of it, and we're looking to get these kind of cars through yeah. all our successes in real estate, they're, they, he gave us quite an affordable way to do it, right? Yeah, and well, he actually broke out a really easy way for Jeff to get into his first one um, that would be relatively affordable. Like it wasn't a crazy number. Mm -hmm. And uh, it sounds like we've got some great opportunities to go and network with a bunch of Aston Martin owners for dinner or lunch. In yeah, it, we, we were invited right away to uh, an, a networking event with Aston Martin and it, who knows what that's gonna lead to, but obviously it's gonna be having lunch with 20 people that own Aston Martin, so yeah. that can't be Can't be thing. the worst. <laughs> uh, yeah, stay tuned on that and, and we'll hopefully see me in an Aston Martin before the end of 2018. Boom. What is up you guys, Matt McKeever here and we're in Scarborough and so here with Matt Pichet, Jeff Weibel and so we're checking out our buddy Dwight's uh, property, Dwight Simpson and uh, yeah, this is going to be awesome and so we thought why not break down how we originally met Dwight so which one of you guys wants to jump into it? Yeah, we actually met him at the rain meeting at the Acre. Well, one of the things that Dwight, uh, he first met me at Acre there that weekend, it was a great weekend, a lot of networking that was going on and he just you know, he's got a YouTube channel, which he even has on his oh, banner sure. here, which yeah, is like I love pretty that. awesome. I guarantee there's not too many contractors yeah. with a YouTube channel down there, but he started telling me, you know, there's a lot of like Gary Vee type advice, like focus on all your content, you know, don't worry about your following. So that always stuck with me, so that uh, Dwight talked about that. So and now here we are, we're gonna go check out his place. Yeah, and so the way it came up, literally, I think we were just, I forget what it was, which one of us, but we were sitting at a table just chatting about YouTube in general with another person, and Dwight heard the word YouTube, yeah. came over and was just like, hey guys, just wanted to like chat with you. I heard you say YouTube, I do YouTube as well. So he's got some videos that have really blown up. Uh, just checking out his most popular videos. His number one most popular video, 350,000 views. So definitely interesting. A lot of his content's focused on documenting the actual building process and some of the different techniques he's implementing. So. He's definitely going to show us around today. We're really excited because this is completely outside of my wheelhouse. I've uh, never done a project like this. I don't, any guesses on what this is going to be worth once he's done, guys? Let's play that game. 1.3, I'm guessing. Yeah, I was actually going to say 1.2, so uh, yeah. So I'll do 1.1. <laughs> all right. And we'll all be too low, bro. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> probably. So. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. Hey, man, how's it going? Good. See ya. Like a good runner, yeah. Yeah. It's been fun watching too on Instagram. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's rough around the edges right now, but now this is a great idea that my wife came up with from Europe. You see this is very common, it's wall mounted toilets. So there'll just be like a double push button here and then the bowl is actually floating out of the wall. Hey guys, Jeff Wobble here. Welcome back to the channel. This is the third of the three-part series that was on Matt McKeever's channel and Matt Peace Chase channel with Dwight Simpson of Simpson's Property. Thank you for being with us. As you guys know, I have a new build coming up. We're gonna check out your new build going on here. Yes. Let's go check it out. All right, come on. So, right now this is a really rough stage. Um, we're planning on having all the mechanicals done in about a month. But if you look down at the floor here, we have what's called warm board. So the entire house is going to be heated with radiant and floor heat. And the reason why we went with that is it's one of the most efficient ways and healthiest ways to heat your home. So it's pretty cool. So the surface of this is actually aluminum. And what happens is when the floor, there's going to be PEX tubing run throughout. 